What is up guys, it's the BYT here, back in our video. This is going to be a little statement video. I haven't made a video in the past maybe four or five days. Um, I've did a little bit of thinking as of late. Um, that video I made about the Super Bowl, 15,000 views. I was expecting it maybe to get a thousand. I really wasn't expecting it to get that much. And I thank you, deep down, I thank you, each and every single person who watched that video, if you liked it or hated it, I thank you for watching that video. Um, I can't express in words how good that made me feel. Proving all the haters wrong. Proving all the people that doubted me. Usually when somebody makes a video like that, they're going to get tons of dislikes because there was a fake thumbnail. Um, you know, I put a fake, I put a, I'll admit it, I put a fake thumbnail to get more views. But the difference between me and the big YouTubers is, I will admit, you know, when I cheated the system a little bit. That's only my second fake thumbnail I've ever done, I've ever did, and I'm pretty sure... If I did more of those, I would get more views and more subs, but I'm not going to do that, because that's not what this channel is all about. So, I want you, I want, really want to thank everybody who subscribed just from that video. I had 105 subs when I made that video, now I have 142 subs. That is amazing, but I want to, I want to thank you so much. But now... But sadly, to all the people who love my opinion on the matter, um, and loves my NFL videos, those are gone. Those NFL videos are done until the NFL season starts again. Um, so yeah, no more NFL videos. You know, I might, people probably were thinking, what if I sold out, you know, just quit making wrestling videos and make sports videos. I'll occasionally, I, the only sport I watch is football. I, and um, March Madness, I watch that. Occasionally, I'll do a video that doesn't relate to wrestling, which I've been doing more of. But sadly, guys, I just made, I want to make this video a statement video that I won't be making any more football videos until the season, the regular season starts this year. Which is in probably like seven months so yeah that's not what this channel's about this channel is about wrestling and I will keep it at wrestling I don't care how many subs I have um, I love talking about wrestling and that's what I want to do that's what I'm good at I'm also apparently I'm also good at talking about football but <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that to get that many views so once again Bottom line, no more football videos until a while. But I want to thank you, every single one of you who watched me. And hopefully, you will still stay subscribed to me, even though I'm not going to be making any more NFL videos for a while. I mean, if you want to request a video for me, I'll do it. It. You know, if you want me to talk about this NFL thing, you know... Not basketball, because I don't watch basketball. <laughs> just just comment below and let me know what you want me to um, talk about for the NFL. And I'll do it. I'll gladly do it. But this is going to be my WWE SmackDown spoilers for um, February 12th. No, February 11th, 2016. Yeah, but just got a new comment on that video. He's in school. I bring my iPod to school, and then <laughs> in literally every class, I'll get one of those. Every single one. Um, WWE SmackDown. All right, so we gotta do this quick. I've already did. It's already been like five minutes. Bleacher Report. So once again, that's if you're look if you subscribe just for NFL videos, please unsubscribe. I'm not trying to be rude or anything because I don't want to disappoint you.
because those aren't the videos. I like to make wrestling videos a lot more, and that's what this channel was made for. The re the name's a wrestling name. I have a wrestler in the thumbnail. Um, so here we go. Jericho cuts a promo about his match with AJ Styles. That's it. Jericho vs. Styles ended in a no contest when the social outcasts interrupted. This led to a tag team match. Again, this is bullshit where a promo happens, somebody interrupts somebody, and then you make a match. This always happens. Nobody likes it. You really, this, do they really think anybody wants to see AJ Styles and Jericho versus the social outcasts out of, out of all the roster? You pick the social outcasts to face Jericho and Styles? Like, these are jobbers. Why? Jericho and Styles feed Curtis Axel and Adam Rose. After the match, Y2J left Styles lying with a code breaker. I, li I like that. I like how they're... I like this little feud they have going on. This is one of these nice mid-card... Little mid-card feuds that they have um, building up. When I, would, I would love to see... You know, maybe a mania match between Styles and Jericho. But I also... I would really love to see it fast. Like maybe a triple threat match for a number one contendership for the IC title at Mania against Ambrose. You know, Miz, Styles, and uh, Jericho. That would be great. I mean, you could incorporate all four of them in a, in a feud. I'm sure it would be good. Um, you don't, Not very often you see Fatal 4 ways for Intercontinental Championships at Mania. The Dudley Boys cut a heel promo explaining why they attacked the Usos on Raw. See, this doesn't work because nobody likes the Usos. So, I mean, it's not... I mean, it's... <laughs> You know, it's stupid. It, nobody likes the Usos, so if, a, if somebody attacks them, nobody's going to care. So the heel turn, really nobody cares. People are just going to cheer them more. Um, they used Brian's retirement to generate heat, then said they were doing away with tables. That makes sense. They're doing away with tables when they put the Usos through tables on Raw, when they didn't need to. Yeah, that makes sense. So great storytelling there. Um, they gen they use Brian's retirement to generate heat. That's a smart move by the WWE because they know nobody likes the Usos. So if the Dudleys insult Brian, then they're obviously it's cheap heat and they're gonna get over. And I and I enjoy a Dudley Boys promo. So I'm probably if I watch this SmackDown, I'm gonna enjoy the segment. SmackDown's on in like four hours, but. I'm rather I'm gonna watch Democratic debate instead of that shit. <laughs> so uh, Goldust tried again to recruit our truth in a pre-tape vignette. These those are some those are entertaining. So I'm not gonna you know bash that. Sasha Banks feed Naomi with the bank statement. Becky Lynch and Tamina fought at ringside. I thought Sasha Banks was heel. I don't understand this. Um, Uh, Styles cut a promo on Jericho. The Wyatt family cut a promo. <laughs> Too many promos. Neville, Sin Cara, and United States Champion Kalisto defeat Stardust in the Ascension. Jericho Styles. Jericho defeats Styles clean with the Code Breaker. Okay. Now. Um. I don't know why they decided to rush that. Maybe they're just gonna have they're gonna do one of these feuds where just see who's the better wrestler. Um, where they just have multiple matches, which is like every feud now. But in my opinion, they sh they shouldn't have did it. I'm sure it was gonna be a great. I'm sure it's gonna be a good match. It has a story, so I'm gonna be into it if I watch it tonight. But this could have saved. I mean, you also have the Miz kind of in this feud, so why didn't the Miz come out to do anything? You know, Miz, Jer Miz and Jericho, good chemistry on the mic. Um, so this could await, you know. This match could happen at Fastlane, at Mania, you know. Stop. I mean, if it's gonna, it's probably going to happen at one of those pay-per-views. So stop giving us the match so we don't care about it as much. 
Um, so yeah, that's my opinion. The SmackDown really doesn't look that bad. But um, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.